Hello students, uh, myself Neum Kodiya from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So in last session uh, we discussed uh, some topic related to how to solve any of the APA problem. Clear? We solve that method for how to find out solution of any of the structural problem. Okay. So in that step we have uh, we require the equation of stress, strain and what is the equation of element stiffness matrix. So in today's session we have to uh, derive the equation of the element stiffness mat uh, matrix. Okay. So force nozzle displacement relationship for 1D element by direct stiffness method. Okay. So in today's session we have to discuss that this topic. So force nozzle displacement relationship means we have to de derive relationship between force and nodal displacement with respect to di uh, direct stiffness method. Okay. So the matrix analysis of one dimensional element present in this section help in understanding the general finite element method. Okay. So in this case we uh, select one element. In that element total two node, node 1 and node 2. The displacement at node 1 that is small u1, displacement at node 2 that is u2. The applied force at node 1 that is small f1 and applied force at node 2 that is small f2. So you have to remember all these things that is a displacement means deflection at node 1 due to applied force that is u1. Displacement at node 2 due to applied force that is small u2 and we have to discuss horizontal axis as x axis and vertical axis as a y axis. So you have to remember this figure because we derive equation uh, based on this diagram. Okay. So F1, U1, F2, U2 that is the respective nodal force and uh, dis displacement. Okay. Here is total two nodal. One dimensional element. This is the element consider we consider as a one dimensional element. Next, figure show one dimensional spar of road element. It has two nodes. Each node has one degree of freedom. Now you all know what is degree of freedom. Okay. The degree of freedom is the number of independent coordinate which must be specified to unequally define all the displacement. Let consider small l is equal to length of element in mm. We have to uh, discuss some terminology based on, uh, based on this diagram. Small l is equal to length of element. Capital A indicate cross sectional area of element in mm. Okay. Capital E indicate modulus of elasticity of material that is Newton per mm square cross sectional area in mm square and modulus of elasticity in Newton per mm square. Now you all know what is the relationship between modulus of elasticity, stress and strain. Okay. So E is equal modulus of elasticity is equal to stress upon strain. So sigma is equal to E into epsilon. The stress is equal to strain into modulus of elasticity. Small f1 indicate force acting on node 1 in Newton. Small f2 indicate force acting on node 2 in Newton. Small u1 indicate displacement of node 1 in mm. And small u2 indicate displacement of node 2 in mm. Okay, so that is the simple terminology of that figure. Now we have to uh, solve uh, uh, equation of that uh, element stiffness matrix. Total degree of freedom of element. Total degree of freedom is equal to degree of freedom per node into number of node. So degree of freedom that is 1 into number of node that is 2. So 1 into 2 is equal to 2. That is the total degree of freedom of element. Okay. Next stiffness of element K is equal to AE upon L. That is the equation of stiffness. Now we already know what equation of stiffness that is. Stiffness is equal to force upon area. Okay, so instead of force, you can write down uh, equation of stress. That is, what is the equation of stress? That is, sigma is equal to force upon area. So instead of force, you can write down sigma into area. Okay, so you can write down sigma into area upon L. Now instead of sigma, you can write down uh, what is the equation of uh, stress? That is, uh, force upon. Uh, Equation of stress that is modulus of elasticity into strain. So you have to write down instead of sigma, you have to put modulus of elasticity E into epsilon clear uh, into cross sectional area upon length clear. Uh, instead of epsilon, you can write down change in length upon original length. Okay. So if you put change in length upon original length, at that time length will cancel out from uh, numerator and denominator 
and the final equation of stiffness matrix that is a e upon l this is nothing but equation of stiffness okay so we have two equation of stiffness that is first one force per unit deflection and second equation that is a e upon l where a indicate cross sectional area e indicate modulus of elasticity and l indicate length of element okay so you have to remember this equation next this is the figure that we already discussed so displacement at u1 at node 1 u2 at node 2 force applied at node 1 that is f1 force applied at node 2 that is f2 and uh, axis x and y so from figure we can write down now we, we all know that what is the equation of force stiffness is equal to force upon our displacement so what is equation of force is equal to stiffness into displacement so displacement at node 1 that is u1 minus u2 we have to combine combine effect of we have to consider combined effect of displacement so f1 is equal to stiffness into u1 minus u2 and at node 2 that is displacement that is u2 minus u1 so f2 is equal to stiffness into u2 minus u1 clear so in this case we uh, derive two equation from the figure clear we have we use relative displacement okay so force is equal to stiffness into deflection so deflection at node 1 that is u1 minus u2 deflection at node 2 that is u2 minus u1 so we uh, derive total two equation f1 is equal to k into u1 minus u2 f2 is equal to k into u2 minus u1 clear so the, based on these two equation we have to convert these two equation into matrix form like this clear first before we convert into matrix step we have to multiply k inside the bracket so f1 is equal to k into u1 minus k into u2 and f2 is equal to minus k into u1 plus k into u2 okay so based on these two equation we have to convert these two equation into matrix form like this okay First, write down two matrix two equation as it is like f1 is equal to ku1 minus ku2, f2 is equal to minus ku1 plus ku2. The above equation can be written in matrix form as now we have to uh, convert these two equation into two cross two matrix form like this. F1 F2 that is one matrix is equal to now in matrix we write down k minus k and in second row minus k k bracket close and last matrix that is u1 u2 if you multiply this two matrix and you will get above two equation like this one so what is the value of f1 f1 is equal to multiplication of first row and first column so how to multiply first row and first column so first row that is k and minus k and you have to multiply these two value which u1 and u2 so k into u1 plus minus k into u2 so k u1 minus k u2 so that is equation number one if you want to find out the value of f2 at that time you have to multiply second row with first column so minus k into u1 plus k into u2 second row and first column so you will get equation answer of equation two so uh, in that equation nothing we just convert about two equation into matrix form single matrix equation clear so uh, equation of f is equal to k into u f means nodal force k means element stiffness matrix and u means uh, nodal displacement at each node okay so that is the equation in matrix form next where f is equal to f1 f2 is equal to element force vector okay k is equal to k minus k minus k and k is equal to we have to take stiffness as a common from the matrix so if we take k as a common then uh, what is this equation converted in the form like k is in bracket 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 okay now instead of k you can write down a e upon l a means area modulus of elasticity upon length 1 minus 1 minus so this is the equation of element stiffness matrix we have to use this equation in all example of structural problem is equal to element stiffness matrix u n is equal to u1 u2 when u1 and u2 indicate displacement at uh, displacement at node 1 and node 2 respectively okay is equal to element nodal displacement vector so this is the simple equation of element stiffness matrix nodal force and displacement at displacement vector now you have to remember one thing that is 
displacement of fixed nod is always zero. Clear? Suppose we, if we have a one cantilever beam, at that time one end of cantilever beam is fixed. So at that time the fixed point, the displacement at fixed point that is zero. We have to consider the zero. Okay. So you have to remember this thing in all the examples. That is, displacement for the fixed nod must be zero. Okay. You have we have to consider always displacement at fixed nod is zero. And the free end we have to find out the if we applied any of the force at that time that beam is deflected. We have to find out the deflection in both the axis, x axis as well as y axis. Okay. So in next that is uh, element force vector is equal to element stiffness matrix into element uh, displacement vector. Okay. So it is important to note that the dimension of the element stiffness matrix k n cross n, where n is the total degree of freedom of element now total degree of freedom how to find total degree of freedom you all know that how to find uh, degree of freedom of one node into total number of nodes clear so degree of freedom of one uh, each element that is one total number of nodes that is two that means total degree of freedom is two clear if we have total number of nodes is three at that time uh, we have to find out the uh, total degree of freedom like degree of freedom of each node into total number of nodes. So 1 into 3 is equal to 3. So at that time we have to consider degree of freedom as a 3. Okay. So degree of freedom is depend on the value of uh, number of nodes. Okay. So in today's session we derive one equation of the element stiffness matrix for structural problem. And the equation of element stiffness matrix that is AE upon L in bracket 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1. So this is the equation and uh, we already did our equation for the nodal vector and as well as our displacement vector. So in next session we have to derive equation of stress strain or we have to define relationship between stress strain and displacement. Okay? Thank you.